Hello everyone, I'm Cole from the Kingdom, and I just saw the trailer for Halo Infinite, so I figured now's a good time to make this video I've wanted to make for years. The original trilogy is legendary. There's nothing I can say on that that hasn't already been said. I mostly liked Halo Reach except for some gameplay stuff, particularly in the multiplayer. Halo 3 ODST I really liked, but I can understand why a lot of people didn't. Halo 4 and 5... uh... were not great. Halo 4, there were a lot of problems, and I could go on for a long time about them. To keep this brief, let's stick to the main story. It was too short. The didact didn't get enough screen time. I think he should have been the main villain for the new trilogy, not just one game. The story was... Here's how it felt to me. Master Chief wakes up on the ship. Oh, there's some Covenant. Oh, now we're on Requiem. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, here comes the Infinity. Didact is ready to leave. Chief wants to go stop him. He doesn't. Oh look, Halo. And another weapon of mass destruction. I guess the Didact has that now. Bye, Halo. Hey, we're back at Earth. Bye bye, Mr. Bad Guy. Oh, and we talked to the librarian at some point. And Cortana's dying now. Now, I probably would have done the whole thing differently, but let's not go into that here. And I won't claim it was all bad. The Didact had a good design except for the pauldron on his armor. Get rid of that and he would have looked much cooler. And that scene where Chief is arguing with Captain Del Rio? That was awesome. I am ordering you to surrender that AI! No, sir. And Lasky was great, too. They tried to throw in some deep questions about Master Chief's humanity, but they didn't spend nearly enough time on it. That, along with the didact, should have been stretched out across the new trilogy. Halo 5... I adored the trailers, where it's flip-flopped with two sides of the story, and then the game was nothing like that. That's been talked about a lot, so I won't go any deeper on that. But the bigger thing is that the majority of the game was spent with Locke, and nobody, nobody wanted to play as Locke. If done well, a story from two perspectives can be great. I liked that about Halo 2. Apparently a lot of people didn't, but I loved the Arbiter's half of the game. And that's just it. Half. Locke got the majority of the game, and no one wanted to play as the guy who was hunting Master Chief. As for his team, Tanaka didn't get enough development for me to really care for her. I liked Vale, and of course I liked Buck, although... Look, I'm not super well versed in the Halo lore. I've watched a couple of videos and read the wiki and whatnot, but as I understand it, Buck didn't want to be a Spartan because he didn't want to leave his team so they decided to make his whole team Spartans. But then Buck left his team anyway? And there is some division between the games and the extended universe, but I feel like he was only there for the fans to say, oh, I know that guy. Now, I did like their explanation for what the Guardians were. I did not like Cortana as the main villain. I know it was meant to be that she went crazy, but it was still weird. And I did like how they brought the Arbiter back, even if they screwed up his armor big time. He's one of my favorite characters and Keith David is amazing as always. In short, Halo 5 was way better than 4, but I still don't really care for the direction they've taken the series. Now, Infinite, the trailer was awesome. It looks much more like the original trilogy than the previous two installments. I did not expect to be excited for it, but now I kind of am. Although I felt the same way about 5, so yeah. I just hope they've learned from their past mistakes, and I am willing to give them that chance. So I guess that's where I'll wrap this up. What do you think about the Infinite trailer? What are your opinions on the previous two installments? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments section. I'll see you later.